Hello there guys, this is the DB Tour and I'm back today to review the month of March my Celtic save. Today we play we have got Bayern Munich in the Champions League, which I'll maybe do I mean, no, never mind. And that's a very, very tough fixture to play in the quarter finals. But I'm very pleased we've actually got to the quarter finals and some something to be proud of. If you've not seen them, there's all the players that are coming in on freeze. If you don't that's a regen. Named Cal Buchanan. He's a great regen. Um, so let's just go and look at the month and see what's happening and how everything's going in March. Any big news? Yes. We started off the month with a good 4 2 victory over Dundee United. Gary Hooper got 3. Ben Kyle got 1. Johnny Russell got 2. 16th minute, 53rd. We went 3 0 up. 3 1. 4 1. Or to a pretty even game all round, but you know we took chances. They took more of our chances than they did. Probably the right result in the end. And we played Hibs in the Scottish Cup quarter final. Uh, we drew three three, which was very disappointing. But Gary Hooper got another hat trick. He's really found his shooting boots towards the end of the season. This season he scored thirty seven goals in fifty two appearances in all competitions, including non competitive. I think. Uh, that would be 44, 52, no, not quite non-competitive, uh, but 52 appearances, 37 goals in Europe, in the Scottish Cup, in the League Cup, in, in the league. So, <coughs> he's doing good, he's, found quite, he's scored quite a few goals recently, but we drew 3-3, which was very disappointing. The fans were disappointed, I was disappointed, but what are you going to do? We were away. Well, that's not really an excuse. We should be won, but at least we didn't lose. So then we put Galatas around the second knockout leg away from home. And I was very, very nervy about this one. I mean, look, we drew two two at home. They got two away goals. Good, well, they got the both of them. But I was thinking, oh no, we need to go to Galatas right last year's winners and beat them, which we did. Uh, Galata, uh, Gary Hoover got a penalty in the 38th minute and converted. They, were, they had a lot more shots. Well, not a lot more, four more, but and you had the minute, so you had the same amount on target. Probably, pro probably even we should have probably drew if you look at statistics. But we just took one of our chances, and um, we got through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So that's a, that was very very good. I was very pleased we've actually got this far. The group stages. We, we, we have, our teams obviously came far. We had a hard group. We had Real Madrid, Leo, Olympic Leon, Olympiacos. Olympiacos couldn't win it at all last year. Last year in Group A. I think we played Olympiacos last year. Oh, I don't know. Let's see our group. Let's look at our group last year. If I can find it. Oh my god. Right, so we had a very hard group, but we managed to get probably about the same hot difficultness. We're just, our team has came on a lot since last season. We're doing good, we're dominating the SPL even better. Uh, but then we played, went to the League Cup final. We're looking for the treble. We didn't manage to win the treble last year. We got the. We got the Cup. We got the League Cup and the SPL last season. Not the Champions League, the Europa League or the League Cup. But then we got, we could have won it this year as we got to the Scottish Cup. We were in the Scottish Cup semi final. We were in, we pretty much won the league already. And we got the League Cup final to open the score, to open the account for the Cups this season. But we only, we lost 1 0 to Aberdeen, which was very, very disappointing. But I wasn't too concerned as it is a League Cup. We didn't really need it in the trophy cabinet. We've got enough. It'd be nice to have, but you know, who cares? It's the League Cup, we'll probably win it next year. Then we beat Hibernian 1 0 in the Scottish Cup quarter final replay. The Celtic Park, we were all over them. They had no shots on target, but they had five shots altogether. But it only took us to, it took us to the extra time, 92nd minute, to Gary, for Gary Hooper to open the scoring. Then we had two disappointing draws in a row. We drew 2 2 with Ross County. They opened the score and he went 2 0 up actually, and Gary Hooper went, went, pulled it back, on, pulled it back. And then Jordan was pulled back in level terms. 
we for sure won that game. Real Madrid with Aberdeen, the team that beat us in the League Cup away, 1 1. Matthews opened a score and then Vernon. A uh, pretty even game. And then St Johnson, we beat them 2 1. Gary Hooper and Tom Kearney. So, Woods that league is no, oh, well, we know where Leaves is in the league, we're still top. We've got 21 points ahead of second place Hearts. 29 points. We have 30 points ahead of uh, Kilmarnock. 31 points ahead of 4th place, so we're absolutely killing this league. We've only lost once, we've drew 5 times, we've won 25, so I'm looking to break 100 points, if it's still possible. 7 games, 7 times 3 is... Wait, is it... So we've got 7 games... Yeah, 7 times 3, so 21 points. It's really unlikely, but we could still do because if we just win every game we've got left. Gary Hooper's finally broke his way into the top score sheet with 17. Three behind McMenamin, <coughs> four behind Sun, and quite a few behind Russell, so it doesn't look like he'll be there. Grant Hanley's still top, average rating, and a Corey then Hooper. Most assists, James Forrest has got 20. Way ahead of 14 of Steve Hamill with 14. Gary Hooper's there with 11. Grant Hanley's got most played the match was for us, but John Sutton's got more. Fraser Foster's got way most the clean most most clean sheets with sixteen, quite a lot ahead of Kazerniak for Dundee United who's got nine. <coughs> so I'm looking forward to the month. We've got Bayern Munich though right now, which is gonna be difficult. These I don't think it's getting through to the quarter the semi final now. The split's still to happen, so if you don't know why there's only a few games left in this it only says two Premier League games when I say we've got seven, but the split's still to happen for the champ the top half split and the top bottom half split. That's when, if you don't know what that is, you probably do 7th to 12th play each other once, each other once, 6th to 1st play each other once, that's the championship split, that's the relegation split. So who do we have in the quarter final? Oh, right, well, that's the other quarter finals, Tottenham v Real Madrid, Arsenal v Juventus, Man United v Dortmund. Um, the semi-finals look good as well. We will either play, if we win, we will either play Tot Tottenham or Real Madrid. So, you know, a very, very hard task to get to the final. To. Doubt we'll have a double win at this season, but we're do doing very, very well. Uh, I'm really liking this season. I think that this team has come on a lot. I've got a young team, a good team that will in the fu future improve. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way things are going in the, the whole league and stuff like that. <coughs> I'm just pleased about everything and uh, I can see us winning the Champions League sooner rather than later. But we'll either get here next season, I think we could probably get to the final of the semis next season and the season after that I do see us probably will have to win the trophy or get into the final at least. But I'm going to keep playing this save, I do enjoy it very very much. Even after I win the league, the Champions League, I'm still going to play it and try and do a lot of stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a nice day, all the stuff like that. Next time you see me, will be the end of the season review. Have a nice day, all the stuff. Goodbye. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Bye bye.